Welcome to Informatica support videos. My name is Vivek Sahu. Today I'll be discussing about installing Power Exchange on AS400 Part 2. In the first part, we have installed Power Exchange on AS400 machine, and in this part, we'll discuss about listener task, journaling, and doing a road test. So, in a CDC environment, Power Exchange listener provides the following services like stores and manages capture registrations, extraction maps, and data maps for CDC data sources. Provides capture change data to Power Center when you run extraction or load session. Provides capture change data or source data to the Power Exchange Navigator when you do a road test on extraction map or data map. To start the listener. We have to allow multiple thread for execution. This is prerequisite. For that, we have the command as change job D. And the command is given here. You can run the command so that we can start the listener. And to start the listener, the command is given like this. We can uh, pray give the command here in uh, in the command prompt and uh, we'll get a message like this listener has been started to check the listener is running we can go to the logs to see the listener is up and running uh, the command will be work member pdm data live and the log the in the next screen detail log will come up where you can provide five to display like uh, the messages provided in the detail log from that you can see listener this is running on this machine so to stop the listener or close the listener the command is send lst command the data lib name and the close then it will show this messages is confirms that the listener is complete and is shutdown is complete now so other way to checking that listener is running or not after you start the listener you can use the detail rexe command it is given call program then the detail rxe program name if and if the listener is up and running then detail rxe command will come as okay now the journaling the journal is an object that records the activities of the objects you specify in the form of journal entries like we have some tables as a journal entry in the journal and the journal writes the journal entries in another object that is called journal receiver so how to create a journal receiver the command is given as crt jr in rcv you can give the command then f4 and you have to provide the uh, receiver and the library name and you will get a message like this journal receiver is created similarly creating a journal crt jr in is the command you can give the command f4 then provide the details as for the screen and then enter and we will receive a command as journal this has been created now creating a table and inserting data to that so uh, in similar to mainframe we use poofy in this we have something called interactive sql to go there from the main menu you can go to four option then one option then interactive sql option is the eight is the option this screen will come up as the interactive sql command here you can provide our details like mm, a create table query or insert query and uh, similarly if you give create table query and then enter then this message will come as this table has been created it was not journal so journaling why we will do journaling is to capture the changes from that table if you want to capture changes for this table we have to journal this table first in the next screen we will see a message that one of one files have started journaling how we have created the table similarly you can insert uh, rows into that table in a similar fashion going to the interactive sql option now creation of a capture registration a capture registration defines a source segment table database or data set for which power exchange captures changes power exchange stores capture registrations in the cct file uh, our navigator will be running on a windows machine and our power exchange install on the as founder machine so to create capture registration and to register the tables you have to go to the navigator so we need a connection string between uh, windows navigator and uh, as founder machine to connect that we can copy the node statement where as founder is running this node statement we can add in windows navigator navigator debugger machine debugger file so that our windows navigator can connect to the uh, as founder that is running in this 3759 port in the as founder machine now coming to the uh, registering the table for capture registration we have to open the navigator this is the screen then we need you need to go to the data capture option that is provided here expand it and uh, there will be a registration group 
you can add one registration group by right clicking it if you do right click add registration group the screen will come off here you have to provide the name which is user defined in the location in this location this is the listener running in this location that is in AS phone machine you can find this as the node name the type is AS4 and user ID password is AS100 uh, user ID and password and the collection identifier is the instance name that we have provided in the dbmover file that we have discussed in the last uh, video if you go to the dbmover file and find for inst that is instance this instance in instance name you have been provided there now you have to put the next in the next screen will come up where the capture registration name is user defined and this is the creator or schema using this schema or using this creator I have created the tables so I have provided that creator name then it will next screen will come up like for that creator name which all tables I have created I have created this many tables so if I want to uh, capture register for this table I have to provide and double click on that table and the uh, columns will come up here you have to select select all columns and the next screen where we have to provide type as log based uh, this is the only option uh, we have here the status uh, maybe active and inactive will be there you have to select active and the contents as part then we have to press finish so what these options active and inactive means like to prevent data from being captured we can press inactive as we want to capture the changes we can provide active and condense options are there for non part and full where you want to partially condense processing we don't have to condense processing or if you want to full condense processing we can provide these details then doing a road test How we do a road test a road test is uh, in my table what all data is there power exchange can extract those data and so that that is called road test so to do road test uh, we have uh, we have to register the table first as we have done the registration uh, if we register the table in the extraction map an automatical one entry will be created and road test is being done in this extraction group let's say I have uh, registered this AS400 so in extraction I can see this AS400 came here so you have to double click on that so in this uh, schema what all tables are registered in this extraction map all will show up let's say I have registered for this AS400 I have to double click on that and the road test button is here this is the road test button if you, you have to click on that button then this screen will come up which showing that uh, this uh, query will be executed on that table he'll extract from this AS400 table this shows uh, road test means this query will be executed on that table and it will fetch data for us you have to provide these details and application name anything user defined then you have to press go then uh, these rows uh, after journaling the table these rows I have inserted so these rows are being fetched now uh, from the table to uh, showing that the road test is uh, complete and our installation is proper uh, by this we come to the end of the video uh, so uh, using these two videos we have installed power exchange and uh, we have started our listener we have created a table and journal that table and we did a road test so that uh, uh, proving that the installation is complete and we can fetch data from that table so we'd love to hear from you if you have any doubt or any support information if you want you can write to us at support videos at informatica.com thank you